So let's go into the items. We can search items. We'll have to go ahead and enter the warehouse information, whether it's make or buy or both. The name of the item. And go ahead and hit select. And it comes up with the item description. You can just click on that. This brings up the item entry screen. Click on the controls tab. Find out whether it's physical inventory controlled, cycle count controlled, both are yes. So in this case we can go ahead into the inventory tab and navigate down to physical inventory. Here's the May stock physical count executed by the administrator. Now let's go ahead and enter a physical inventory adjustment. I'll put in my warehouse, pick up that physical count name, and also the items. You can do a single item or more than one, of course. And I'll go ahead and click that radio button, select it. I'm going to make an adjustment for the actual quantity. So it says we've got 10 on hand. Actual quantity, 24. So we've successfully processed that transaction. The system gives us that message once again. So that's always good to see. Now let's check on the cycle count. We'll have a look at our stock. Finished goods. So we'll look for any cycle count adjustments through this search window. Search screen, rather. Put in the item we're looking for, the cycle count name. So here we can select it, and there's our quantity on hand, 24, actual quantity, we'll go ahead and enter as 18. Make the adjustment. And we get the transaction successful notice. All right, so why don't we go check out another report that we can do on the inventory side. We want to check on the on-hand quantity detail report. I'll enter in the warehouse and the item, which we want the report for. So here's our on-hand as of the 21st of May just gives us a quick overview there's our quantity that we just made the adjustment for so it's updated that quickly in the system we can see that uh, it's fully verified here on the report So here we can do a transaction register report for Horizon Warehouse. We'll run this report as the 21st of May. Any transaction type for this particular item. And run the report, and here's what we get. Cycle adjustment, physical adjustment, those are our two. We can see the transaction amount for each, the negative 600 and the 1400. It's just a quick way to double check once again. All right, so our last process we're going to take a look at in the day in the life 
of an inventory user in eChain is inventory min and max planning. So we'll go to items, run a search, search for the proper item. We can search for either make by make items, buy items, or both. Populate the warehouse, which item we want to make a search for, and select. So here's our 5mm steel plate. I'll select that item by clicking on it. It'll open up the item entry screen. So here I can check on the controls and see what kind of controls we've entered. I can also click on the inventory planning. This is a min-max plan. min-max min min quantity is 50. The max quantity is 150. Minimum order 40, max order 100. These numbers might look familiar to you from earlier within our demonstration today. There's the reorder quantity of 60. Okay, let me run a quick report here in the eChain Report Center. I'll take an inventory report. and pick up that min-max report off the menu. Okay, so I want to make sure I populate the warehouse information, the range of items, so just a single item in this case. Replenishment, yes. And we can run the replenishment based on uh, any of these min, max, or reorder quantities. So here's our min-max report for the 5mm steel plate. Shot forwarder quantity is 0 at this time. Replenishment quantity is 100. So there's the reorder quantity of 60, as we saw under the uh, specific item when we entered the item screen. Thank you very much for joining us today for our inventory installment of the eChain demo series. I'd just like to give you a quick look at these, some of our happy eChain, ERP, and supply chain management suite customers. We do have over 50 installations worldwide throughout a variety of different industries, and we truly hope you'll be joining this list soon. Once again, thank you very much for joining us for the eChain Day in the Life demo series and the inventory installment today. We look forward to seeing you in all of our future demonstrations, both for the eChain tool as well as the AppLoad suite of productivity tools. Please feel free to get in touch with us at any time. Uh, any of these numbers for either our US office or our India locations. We honestly look forward to speaking with you soon and take care.